Ayawaga! Ayawaga! Hey guys, welcome back to another POV. Today I've got the 50mm 1.8 Sony on. This is the, by far, the best, cheapest budget lens you could buy for any camera. 50mm 1.8, let's go. Okay, so there's a puddle just here, and what I want to get is, as somebody walks towards me, I want to try and get, you know, try and get somebody uh, kind of in the reflection. I'm gonna crouch down. Okay, so, change of tactic. What I'm gonna do is try and get the shoe, Okay, perfect. You can see that on the screen. So like I said, I was trying to get the, the, the top half of the body in the reflection and then the lower half on top. So you can see it kind of works. It's kind of like a quirky photo, but I think it works really well. You can find reflections anywhere. So there's this shop front here, which has obviously got a nice glass front, but you can also use just plain glass like this as a, as a reflection. So I'm going to wait for somebody to walk from that street out and then hopefully get them in focus and have two of them. Okay, Bosch, thank you. Okay, you can see on the screen the photo I just got of the, uh, the workman coming around the corner. Um, thankfully, I saw him uh, coming this time, so I wasn't behind. But you can see the set on the screen, nice and tight and sharp, which is why, honestly, this is definitely one of the best budget lenses you can buy. The 50mm 1.8 is an absolute god. This is a really cool puddle. Um, just gonna get the reflection of that building in it. So I've got it on manual focus, 500th of a second, f1.8 to get that nice little sharp area of focus. See if we can just pull the focus on it. I think it's about there. What I like to do with these photos is I like to flip them firstly, but then I also like to get make sure I get some of the, the road markings in there, uh, just to highlight that it is a puddle. Heading down towards Chinatown, if you didn't see the video from the other day uh, where I got onto the roof in Chinatown, then head over and check it out, it's linked above. Phone box, rubbish, dude. Bam, there we go. Town of China. Um, I've always liked this back street. I don't know if there's anything going on down there, though. So, look. Let's get a nice simple uh, reflection shot of the lanterns up there, shall we? And because down here there's no wind, the, the puddle is nice and uh, nice and steady. So you can actually get quite a decent reflection. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, oh. Sorry, mate. Got some nice shadows around as well today, which is cool. If you guys don't know, Hagen has the best coffee in town, so if you want to go and grab a coffee in London, go to Hagen. Hagen Swallow Street. Bam. So that I want to get today. Um, one shot is I want to get someone stepping in a puddle and then hopefully getting the focus on their foot. And another one is very similar to that. I want to get somebody you know, on a bike cycling through a puddle and then high shutter speed, getting that in motion. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that works out. Hands down, if you want a nice, light, street photography vibe, this is this is the one to go through. Because it's so light and cheap. Uh, someone's had a bad day. The lightest setup you could take out. Normally I take out, you know, the 7200 or the 85 mil or 24 to 70 or the 1424. And they're all quite heavy. This is super super light just waiting for the traffic lights i'm gonna get one of this bus driver just kind of like through the window as he pulls off this is nice this as he i mean it wouldn't be a an optical one to pov if i didn't get a bus driver would it so just as he pulls off i'm gonna kind of like pan with him and hopefully get him in frame set it to a set central focus here we go hopefully i got him I don't know if I'm quick enough to pull the focus on the dude. Just through the window there. Sweet! You can see that? Nice, I was trying to use the, uh, the window as a frame type of thing. Right, coffee. 
coffee. Best coffee in town. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, welcome. Refueling done. Time to get back into it. Looks like it's gonna absolutely piss it down. Okay, so there's a dude sat over there on its phone. I'm going to mine your focus. Just pull the focus onto him. And I'm shooting through the bike because I want the bike as a bit of foreground. Move over a bit more of him. Oh, that's better. That's nice. And kind of just using this as a frame. I like that set. It's a nice little set. It's a little bit different. I just like the uh, the first one. The second one looks alright. I was trying to use like the handlebars as a frame type of thing, um, but I actually prefer the first one that I got that you can see on the screen, which is the uh, the one using like the the bike in the foreground to give it a little bit of the depth. depth. Okay, so I'm just using this reflection to get the dude that's crossing the road. Go on the phone. Let's get that. Nice. I like that. I love using uh, windows to get reflections and like double exposure type of photos. Let's slam it left. And I want it to I want it to rain. Come on rain. Give me some rain. What I will say, I've had a lot of questions about this, about walking around and, and getting some shots and you know worrying about what other people think. I think the best thing to do is just go out and get used to it, first of all. Because a lot of the time it's you feel awkward because you're not you're not comfortable in that setting and that goes for anything in your life like if you feel uncomfortable you're obviously not going to want to do it so the only way to get comfortable is just being out there doing it like i'm walking past talking to myself which looks kind of stupid but at the end of the day you walk past these people they think oh what's he talking about why is he doing that and then that's it it's just a thought you don't have to worry about what other people are thinking you just have to get on with what you want to do get the shots that you want and enjoy the, the process and, and the day because otherwise you'll spend too long thinking about it and then never actually get anything done so just get up get out and go and shoot down the end if I had a 70 to 200 on it would be perfect but there's a dude down the end smoking and it looks cool but unfortunately it's too far it's too far away from me probably going to move by the time I get the shot but he is literally dead center frame which is a shame because I know he's going to move before I get there I'm going to try and get it here and hopefully have to crop in how do they look okay I've got that one I'm going to push the valet guy the valet guy uh the conut conuit conduit whatever the fuck you call it the hotel here and um, the reflection of him looks quite cool but i need it to stop i need it to stop being so windy and then hopefully when i punch it in and post it'll look good i'm actually going to ask him if i could take his portrait Let's see what he says am i okay to quickly take your portrait would that be right thank you have a nice day. Thank you. <laughs> Very standard, typical portrait shot. And there was nothing really going on behind him, but I don't know. He liked it. He smiled. He enjoyed it. That's all that matters. Okay, UPS driver with the door open. Step up and go. Nice. Ah, look at the face. Wasn't best pleased, but oh well. Got the shot, looks good. Um, I'm pushing down kind of so on the other street, not this street, but the one next to us. That's uh, Oxford Street. I'm walking down kind of like the parallel street to kind of get something different. I still want to try and get those two shots that I was talking about, one with the bike and one with the foot. But we'll see. It's drying up a little bit. Hopefully I can get it by the time I go home. Okay, I'm going to try and get it in the reflection. So I was trying to get the reflection in the uh, in the mirror, which worked, as you can see. Um, okay, so the shot that I want for the bike, I think this is perfect because it's so big. You know, something has to go through it like that. 
but uh, I want a bike. I want something like a, a moped or a push bike to go through this. So let's get it in position. Okay, as an example, this on. As an example shot, you can see I've just got a taxi doing it. And I, the idea is I want to get a bike doing that. So I may have to wait a little bit longer to be able to get it. So taxi just pulled up to where I'm waiting for the cyclist to go past. It's quite a nice reflection shot. I don't think I'm going to get the cyclist shot that I want. Um, I've got taxis and stuff going through it, but I haven't got um, a bike or someone walking through it because obviously people don't want to get wet. So I think I'm going to have to I'm going to have to admit defeat or at least take a rain check on this one because uh, it's getting on and this needs to be uploaded tonight. Can I ask a favour? Could you walk through the puddle? Walk through it? Yeah, but like in, in the shallow part so you don't get wet. I know it sounds stupid, but... No, no, I won't. Just your feet. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, go. Legend, thank you. I've been waiting there for ages for that. Thanks, mate. Okay, we'll take one of the two. Didn't get the cyclist, but we'll take the... We'll take the foot. <laughs> Very kind of him to give me a hand. Um, and sometimes this goes back to what I was saying earlier where if you think, if you worry about what people think, you'll never get the shot. I could have waited there and waited there and waited there and sat in the comfortable side of it and just sat and waited. Um, but in reality, if I just ask someone, there we go, speeds up the process, you get the shot you want, you move on. Second dosing of refueling while on the shoot, Joe and the juice, highly recommend. Good little filler upper. Okay, I'm gonna get a shot of somebody coming down the, uh, the stairs on the bus. Going for the hand on the railing type of vibe. Cropped in, obviously, that looks good. Just uh, walking away from Tottenham Court, uh, Tottenham Court Road um, as I'm parked around Russell Square area. So I'm going to head up this way and then I'll swipe a, swipe a right and uh, head home then and get this uploaded this evening. So doing daily content, some days you're ahead, some days you're not. And I am currently ahead of myself, but I wanted to go out and shoot a 50 mil 1.8 uh, POV because somebody was asking about me last night. So I've actually got another video coming out on the 14th of this month with the 50 millimeter 1.8 versus the iPhone 12 Pro. So if you want to see that, make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all of that stuff. Let's get a couple more before I head home. Hey mate, you right? How's it going? Okay. Really, really random question. Can I take a photo of your hand with your cigarette hanging out the side oh, of the cab? No, I'm not allowed to smoke in here. No, I won't, I won't show your face. It'll literally just be the black and your hand, and that's it. I'll show you the photo. Just looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't get your face. Have you just started, or are you on all day? I've been actually taking that It's just going to be that, that's it. Can't oh, tell it's you. Float, mate. Is that all right? Yeah. Have a nice day, mate. With the uh, like the the highlights of the blue on the on the black as well, it looks cool. Again, doubling back to what I said earlier: if you don't ask, you don't get. If you remove the idea of worrying about what people think, then you can you know be more relaxed around people, and when you're more relaxed around people, in turn, they're more relaxed around you. Now, always you're going to get some people that are funny. You're going to get some people that don't understand. But that doesn't mean that they don't care, like, it doesn't mean that they're going to be uh, angry or upset with you. You just have to explain to them about what you're doing. And as long as people don't feel threatened or exposed or um, used, then typically you're going to have a nice, good interaction with that one person. So let's jump into the hashtag and see which photo catches my eye today. That was most definitely an eventful morning with the 50mm. If you're thinking about buying the 50mm 1.8, there's a link in the description. If you'd like to use it, it is an Amazon affiliate link. That means I get a little bit of a kickback. It costs you absolutely nothing more, but if you do want to buy a 50mm, just click on the link below and uh, I'll get some, some sort of uh, commission from whatever you buy. Right, let's jump into the hashtag and have a look at the photos that you guys have been posting and let's see what we can find. All of the photos in today's video were edited with my presets. Preset link is in the description. For £10, you get 114 presets, which are the presets that I've created over the last six years. So let's scroll down in the most recent and see which one catches my eye. That's a really cool drone, 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 drone shot from 7th Verse. Um, this dude's been putting out a lot of amazing content lately, so if you're not following 7th Verse, go and check out his stuff because it is really, really good. 
Scrolling down a little bit more, that's a nice little street shot from Santiago Photos. Santiago Photos. Going down a little bit more, panning shot of a scooter. That's cool, from Gura Strom. What else is in there? Got a nice little set there, but I really like that panning shot. Like that a lot. Let's do that framing's cool from Subrata Kama Kamaka. I'm sorry if I butcher any of your names. I'm trying to, to learn how to say tag names better. Okay, scrolling down a little bit more. There's this one from South Cop South Cop Pete. This is nice. That's a nice car as well. Oh, that's a cool shot from inside the car. Okay, going down a little bit more. Let's do one more. Nice typical spring shot from MWB7 of some lambs in the fields. Scrolling down a little bit more. Let's get one more. One more shot. If I do go past yours, I am dreadfully sorry. It's it's not that yours is a, a bad photo. I'm just clicking on ones that, uh, that pop out and my, uh, my icicles in my eyes. Uh, Ants Powell, that's a nice set. I like that a lot. The framing, what's your opinion on framing on Instagram? Comment below, let's hear your opinions because uh, I mean, I used to do it, I did it back in the past, but I, I haven't done it since. What do you think? Do people, do people like that? What's your opinion? With that being said, create more, stress less, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. Also in tomorrow's video, I'm gonna be showing you the best photo location in London.